And of course, of course, when I look at the time to see what time it is, because I have to kind of wrap things up around 3 o'clock, of course I look and it's 2.17 in the evening, afternoon, whatever. Okay, let us go inside and get Larry his pills. Clementine, you don't need to come in here every time, you know. All right, can I please take that stick? I really want to. to the <coughs> we should be able to find pills for Larry in there. And if we ain't, well, I mean, if this place gets broken into, you could argue that, oh, we don't want to axe that door down because it could be like a last little, like, huddling place where we could get refuge from the zombies. But if the zombies break in here, we're kind of fucked already. So let's axe the door open. I said, let us axe the door open. Here we go, Lee. One, two, three, boo! One, two, three, boo! Do it again. It is, I guess. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. I really want you to pick up that stick. Come on. Pick up the stick of your forebears. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Yeah, just some, you know, psychological batteries. Anything on the TV? On the boob tube? That's what I figured. Nah. Why is this one all blue, but the, the TVs outside are all, like, staticky? All right, I really want to find this battery, by the way, so I can get the radio going. Uh, hey, Clementine, how you doing? You know, you just saw me try to axe a door. How are you doing? How's your finger? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Aw. Aw. You know what else I like about this game? Keep looking around. I like how uh, the text of the people who are talking reflects kind of our... their archetype. Like, Lee's text is white. So he's kind of the standard, you know, adventure hero kind of person. Uh, Clementine's is pink, which is like, kind of symbolizes like, little girl, innocent, you know, kind of cutesy. Larry's is red because he's having a heart attack. And uh, the women seem to be either green or like purpley kind of colors. Okay, but we have Glenn back. There's no getting in there from out here. That great does its job. Okay, okay, okay. So... Glenn, let's talk about that, buddy. How you doing, Glenn? How you doing? You know. Uh, this is what I want to know. Nation for the lock on the gate outside. Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. We have an axe now. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What did you just say to me? What did you just say to me, Glenn? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. Yeah. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. You could tell me the combination. Oh, Little, uh... Back the motor in. How yeah. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. That is also very true. That's not me. Oh. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You never know. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? <laughs> it would have been a waste of a bullet. What do you mean? She was dead anyway. I'm not in the euthanasia business. That's oh, a man. Yep. She was a person. She's gone now anyway. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. That might seem cold-hearted of me, but damn, it's a cold-hearted place. And you know what? The fact that he said it's a waste of a bullet when I said that earlier, again, I'm not trying to go for the best ending or anything like that. I'm literally saying what I would say in the situation. And since I literally said that, and I... It was either pick one of the other options where it's like, well, she's another, she's a person and all that. Pardon me for being a cold-hearted motherfucking bastard, but that's unfortunately what's going on right now. I mean, I can be Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky, but, uh... Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Carly, about about what happened at the inn. Glenn's not telling me the combination. Can you go, like, punch him in the face? Oh, I, I like how I'm smiling. Uh. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. Uh. You do radio. That's right. That might not be Until true. Some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. Blogosphere? That's not a word. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks. I don't think she likes me. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you have fun looking at that radio for the next 20 hours. 
Um. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? I was gonna like mention. Oh, first-hand accounts. There's not gonna be a, so a shortage of first-hand accounts. Uh, I wouldn't say that. That's kind of jinxing us. You know what I mean? Battery. There it is. I just have to extend my uh, range of looking at things. There we go. Battery. Yay. Here's a battery. Here's another one. We got them. It there it is. You see, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me try. Let me have a look at that thing. I'm an expert okay. at this kind of thing. Wait, so you work in radio. Whoa, 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 She is a radio personality. Are you telling me she doesn't know how to turn on a basic radio? I swear. Nothing. Okay, let's flip it around, maybe. Did you put in the batteries the right way? Couldn't figure it out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Go ahead. Okay, okay. I meant, I, like, I wanted to look at the back. On, off. Icon. Flip it around. Volume tuning. That's probably not going to do anything. Can I... Ah, here we are. Mm hmm. Batteries. Did you put them in right? Yeah. You did not put them in right. Really? Really? Good lord. I can't trust you with anything except for shooting people. <sighs> Try it now. Oh, Carly. I don't want to listen to that depressing shit. Give me my Nicki Minaj. The station is okay. Come on. Up, oh, up. Nuh uh. Not after I went through all that trouble to find batteries. God bless us, everyone. Uh, let's get- that was a shit radio station. Can we pick another one? Carly. Carly, I want to pick a different radio station. You always get to pick the radio station! Come on. Where's my men at work? Come on. Come on. Give me the- give me the YMCA! Duh. 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 Young man. Ba 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 I said young man. You're gonna be a zombie today, I said, young man. He looks like he would know, uh... Carly? Carly? What's what's going on? What's going on, buddy? Are you okay? That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. If you're not fine, you can go to the YMCA. You don't have to be, you know? You don't have to be. It's traumatic. You, it's, you're allowed to cry. Some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Again, maybe not. Want to go check it out? I mean, we're... look at her. Now she's all concerned. Good, good. That keeps you on your toes, Carly. I'm so glad I found that battery. Corkboard. Anything? You know, I'm gonna go. I, I really, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Can you please just give me the combination so I can get out of here? What does it matter to you? Hmm, Glenn. And I still have to find the pills thingies, Glenn. Talk to me, buddy. It's okay. All right, Lee? No, I'm not all right. Thanks. I need you to give me the fucking combination! Okay, fine. Don't make me ask you that question again, Glenn. Okay, so I can't ax it. Can't do this, can't do that, can't do anything! How y'all doing, duck? Duck a look! How are we doing? Let's talk to the most uninteresting family Don't here. Mind. I think my family and I are gonna rest for Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Okay. Wait a minute, I know where the keys are. I know exactly where the keys are. It's on my dead brother over there. Uh, uh Nostalgia Critic, whoever you are again. How are you doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? You damn... Well, yeah, I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Can I pick up the brick with my axe? Can't reach that. Oh, brick. come on. This is probably a bad idea. But you know what, Glenn? This is what you get when you... Awesome. How is that awesome? Distract those things. Carefully. Okay, okay. Okay, this is gonna take finesse. I can't reach that brick. You are a... silly man. Okay. You don't need to open it all the way, just open it a little bit. Okay, okay. No, no, that's way too much. 
Grab the brick. Grab the brick. Here we go. Well, it was pretty far away, I will admit. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't you wobble over here, buddy. Man, that's a hasty fortification. All right, we just got to throw the brick at the window. Here we go. Here we go. Hiya! Hiya! You got it. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about, Lee. You got it, buddy. Look at him. Man, that guy's one throat is like really distended. Look at all those eyeballs. Oh my gosh. They're like bugs. Okay, here we go.